So now we'll go a little in depth from taking some profiles and analyzing the data moving forward. All right. So if you see, this is uh, one link which I saw on online saying that, okay, this is a XML format and this is a XML tree. So when I say what is XML tree, so it is a root element. And inside this, I have a book, multiple books are there. So, and each book has its category type. And again, in each book, there is another tag with value. It's the title of it, author, year, price. So we want to read this sort of data that is coming into the platform. So most of the XML data will be consisting these options only. So I'm just copying this and I'm just pasting this over the message ship. So why in message ship? If you want to mock up some data, so use message ship to do that. So here we have sample mockup data. We'll be passing that to the child process and we'll modify or we'll make uh, modifications of that particular input payload into different formats. So that thing we'll be looking at now. So this is the um, XML payload, all right? So this is the sample data that we are looking at. Let me copy this. Put this in a simple file. So I have saved this on my local desktop. So after this, I have to you know, read this data. So reading this data, I have to have a canonical or a format which can actually parse this data. So for this data, looking at this, we can say this is an XML. So we need to create an XML format for this particular data. So for this, uh, let's go to the child first. And in child, uh, we'll get the data from data pass through and it is processed for the further steps. So if I open logic, so we see there are multiple shapes again here. So we have used a branch and, and a stop and hidden documents components. So these are simple components, but very logical components. So how branch can be used is the same data which is coming from pass through will be sent to the first row. And the same data which is coming through pass through will be sent to the second row. And let's say if you have 25, all will be done in the sequential. That means one and then post two and then three and four. So the data which is coming in to the each path is the source data. That is most important point. And the next one is the stop shape. So this is the stop shape. And if I put as end and continue, if I check this up, then what happens is the data coming here, then this process successfully, and then the path two starts. If I uncheck this, that means that end and return. So you just stop it here. That is what you're specifying. So this is not at all you know, uh, needed in case of first flow. If you place it in the second, then it, it should make sense. Saying that, oh, okay, this is the end of the process. You have to stop it here. But if you remember, you are, you are returning something and you're ending it here. That means you will not get data outside this process. So that's the reason. You have to configure this diligently. And then written documents. Written documents is used to send the documents which come to this path to the main process. So as this is a chain, if some data is coming into here, the hierarchy will send the data back to the parent here. So this output will be the data of the chain process. So this is how these three documents are configured. So let's take an example of this data and uh, uh, let's let's go and perform some logical shapes. Here we can see some route, clunks, decision, exception, and this stuff. So first of all, we'll, we want to validate the incoming data. So how do we validate incoming data is using cleanse shape. So cleanse is used to validate incoming data. So validation here turns for the format of the you know um minimum length maximum length mandatory or these aspects so profile type here for us would be xml and the cleanse data using profile i have to select a profile as the profile itself is not defined as of now i'm pressing plus so here the name convention i'll give as book xml just for our understanding 
Then as I said, first we'll go to the options and uh, see what is encoding and the respect minute check for our check. So as this is uh, no way to bother for now, then we go to data elements and import the input data or input uh, file that we have already saved. So once I import this into our Boomi, right? So you see there are three books coming in. So we'll delete all the unused ones or repeated ones yeah, and we'll place the uh, book as an unbounded so if this is specified as unbounded this can be a repeating element so it can come many number of times so again if you see inside book we have category and inside category we have uh, and the sibling to category we have title author year price so title has again like lang as an attribute so these are the different aspects that I see. I'm just saving this. All right, so we have a proper XML which can pass the incoming data. So here, if you see, on the cleanse, once I import this, right, the profile tree will be constructed here. And I see uh, there is a grayed out symbol, and that means that there is no any validation that has kept in place. So let's say the year is just of, um, let's say, four letter. Right, then uh, what I'll do is so, yeah, if you see this, uh, the XML data, so I can specify the for the year, I can specify some field size options saying, okay, minimum length is four and maximum length is also four. So I, I'll save this. Then, if I go to the uh, first one, so you, here you can see the year. As a minimum and maximum length required condition so you can specify some you can trim some uh, data which is coming in let's say if it is too short all right so you can prepend or you can append the first on the last if you have maximum length you can trim the leading or the trailing characters based on your input document you can actually perform this activity all right so that i'm um, so this is the only validation that I have kept, all right? So the clean documents will be moving further and the rejected ones will be stopping here. So this is my intention and then I save this. So I'll, I'll save this process and I'll start this process here in this uh, local process. I'm just running this. This data is now moved to the child process. The child process performs the activity. Yeah. So you see the data has moved from here to here and then it has come up. So that means if it has come up, it's a valid data. All right. So if I go inside this, why valid data? Because in my flow, the, all the rejected documents or data is just stopped here and just not moved further. So if you see, it's a valid data and it's moving further. Right. This is how the configuration is being made. Okay.